Happy New Year. Welcome to the St. Mark Evangelist Catholic Church. Thank you for worshiping with us today. There will be a prayer service before the Blessed Sacrament starting at 9.30 p.m. tonight until 12.30 a.m. to ring in the New Year. Please join us. Tomorrow, January 1st, 2022, the 9 a.m. reconciliation has been canceled. Our regular Mass times resume tomorrow evening for the Vigil Masses of the Epiphany of the Lord. Please stop by the Narthex after Mass to pick up a 2022 parish calendar as a small gift from our parish to you. We kindly ask that you only take one per family to ensure that all our parishioners receive one. This week, the altar flowers are offered for the Holy Catholic Church. Our sanctuary candle is offered for the Jauch family. The altar candles are offered for the Garcia Quinteros family. The intention of this mass is a special intention for Chi Nguyen. As we begin the holy sacrifice of the mass, please rise and join in singing hymn 1002, O Sanctissima. Please note we will be singing the verse one in Latin.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christ Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face 
shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things in her, all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Even when January 1st does not fall on a Sunday, or even when it is not a holy day, it would seem only natural for us to come to Mass at the beginning of a new year. It would seem only natural to ask God's blessings on the 12 months ahead. So, it seems a little puzzling, maybe even a little jarring, that the prayers and readings for this Mass say nothing at all about the new year. And yet, in a way, they do. Last week, we celebrated Christmas. Today, we celebrate the great lady who made Christmas possible. Today, we honor Mary under her greatest title, Mother of God. And in honoring her, we discover a very beautiful tie-in with the new year. At Christmas, we celebrated the greatest love story ever told. God became a fully human being out of his infinite love for us. He took on the totality of the human condition. Today, we honor the woman who helped God become human. Yes, through the help of a woman, God became a human being. Therefore, we rightly call her Mother of God. I will leave the speculations and the theological details for another time and place. After all, this is not a lecture hall or a seminar room. Suffice it to refer to the words of our retired Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, in one of his writings. He wrote that when Mary uttered those words, let it be done, that word of Mary's heart changed his the history of the world because it brought the Savior into the world. Through Mary's cooperation, God entered the human world. God became part of the human world. And we, in turn, are invited to an intimate union with God and his divine life. We accept that invitation 
by resolving in the new year to live the Christian way as Mary did, to live the gospel life as Mary did. I think we begin to see that it is natural to honor her today. This lady is our role model for the year ahead. This grand woman stands at the head of our calendars, challenging us to allow God to do things his way, challenging us to allow God to work out his purpose in our lives. Much is said about New Year's resolutions at this time of year. We need to make only one New Year's resolution to say in 2022, as Mary said over two millennia ago, behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit, Mary became the Virgin Mother of Christ. With the Blessed Mother, we offer our intercessions. That the leaders of the world combine effort to work for world peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That ecclesial leaders grow in appreciation of the vital contributions of women in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers throughout the world will be strengthened by the Blessed Mother's life of willingness to heed God's will. We pray to the Lord. that all who care for children will regard their vocation as a sacred trust from God. We pray to the Lord. For the gift of vocations, that the Christian life of our families may flower in young lives consecrated to the Lord. And for our own St. Mark seminarians, Peter Whitfield and Parker Thompson, that they may grow in their love for Jesus in the black, blessed sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
for our faithful departed ones that God may bless them in Christ with every spiritual blessing in his heavenly home, giving them eternal rest and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, you blessed Mary as your chosen handmaid. Strengthen us as we join her song of thanksgiving. We ask these things through her Son, Christ our Lord. As our gifts are gathered and our sacred altar is prepared, please join in singing hymn 1010. We sing with Holy Mary, hymn 1010. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi, who cannot now receive Holy Communion, we invite you to meditate on this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive Christ, please join in singing him 1004, Mary First Among Believers. to birth. 
just to enhance and uh, reinforce the announcement you heard at the beginning of this Mass, uh, please note there will be no confessions tomorrow morning. Again, no confessions tomorrow morning. And we will have a prayer service before the Blessed Sacrament this evening from 9.30 until 12.30. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. We're sent forth singing the first and third stanzas of hymn 546, Gentle Mary Laid Her Child, hymn 546. <laughs> Gentlemen. 